guys, it's Christy. And it's you. And we're vlogging for the Qualitative Election Study of Britain. And we are uh, now at King's Cross on our way from our Essex focus groups up back up to Scotland. And I think it goes uh, unsaid that we're just really super tired, exhausted, and we won't complain too much about that, but that's pretty much the case. And also in the last couple of videos, I noticed I was talking too much. So I'm going to make Edzia do some of the talking in this one, and I'm going to be a bit quiet. Okay. <laughs> right, so I think the last time we spoke was when we uh, vlogged for the, for the pre um, focus oh, yeah. groups. Yeah. Uh, the, before the first of the coaches focus groups. And now we've basically done all of that. So we've done three general focus groups, one one leader's question time focus group, and then Chrissy had a focus group in Clacton and an interview as well. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a bit to do in uh, under four days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like we did two on the Tuesday, one on the Wednesday, the interview and a focus group in the morning in Clacton, and then the focus group at night, which was the leader's one, so that was a three hour one, and then getting up to get the nine o'clock train so that we can get back to Scotland by seven. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Um, I think our general impressions of uh, voters in England um, haven't really changed as uh, as much in the sense of they're not very different from voters in uh, Scotland or in Wales, except on certain points. Yes. So impressions of certain leaders are more positive or more negative. Um, they, voters in England tend to be a little bit more pessimistic about the debates than voters in Scotland and Wales do. Uh, but in terms of um, how people are viewing the election, everybody seems confused. Yeah. That's, That's a consistent general, theme. Yeah. 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 And I think we were really happy because up until obviously we got um, into England, I mean, we were in Birmingham, but we had a harder time with recruitment in Birmingham, as we reported. And we also had a really hard time recruiting in Clacton, sort of a similar situation to Birmingham. So in order to um, actually get in and talk to real people, uh, yeah, we went ahead and did the, an interview. So we went flyering in Clacton, managed to meet up with one person who was a, an out UKIP voter, and rather, and she, and she just didn't have time during the day. So I did a, a follow-up one-on-one interview with her, and I think that that was really good because um, in a focus group setting, even when we had a UKIP voter who kind of came out, you know, and it is in a lot of ways like coming out, like okay, I'm going to say why I support UKIP, and you guys might all hate me. Um, it did feel a lot like you know coming out of the closet um, in, those, in the focus groups. A one-on-one -on -one personal interview, you still get better data. People are more willing to confide. Um, and of course, you know, she has her anonymity and her confidentiality, so that also creates a safer space. And I'm really happy. We finally got data on why people like Nigel Farage. And of course, that was just, we were struggling for that in Scotland and Wales. And so we're going to have more on that in the, a, a vlog coming up and also an article that we're currently writing. But yeah, I'm, from my side, um, what I'm, I'm really, really happy, we had a really couple, like one particular breakthrough conversation about Nigel, the whole pros and cons and what people like about him um, and what they don't. But more importantly, we knew what people didn't like about him. What we were struggling with was trying to get actual comments about why people did like him. And we finally got that um, in one of our focus groups and also through the interview. So yeah, um, I feel now that the study is going to be a lot more valid and complete than it otherwise would have been. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, we've got to catch a train. Uh, we've got 15 minutes, but we've got to pack this up as well. So we're probably going to continue this, doing a little bit more of analysis of the post and also looking ahead to Strathclyde sometime between now and Monday. later. Yeah, and Monday. So from London, I've been Christy. And it's you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.